Hello viewers, in this session we will find the hidden properties of the concrete mass. As we know, we have mainly two types of the strength on the concrete mass, compressive strength and tensile strength. We earlier find out the compressive strength of the concrete mass. Now we will find the tensile strength of the concrete mass. For finding the tensile strength of the concrete mass, we have uh, two types of the test like split tensile test and modulus of rupture. In this session, we will find the tensile strength of the concrete with using of the split tensile test. Split cylinder test, split tensile test, our object is to cover to determine the splitting of the tensile strength of the cylindrical concrete specimen with applying the loading to the specimen and you can refer Indian standard 516-1959, Indian standard 1199-1959 and Indian standard 1006-1982. If we talk about the number of cubes or specimen required for this test as we know we are finding the strength of the concrete mass at 7 days and the 28 days so so that we required three specimen for the 7 days and the three specimen for the 28 days apparatus used for finding tensile strength of the concrete mass we required compression testing machine and we require the cylindrical mold which dimension is the diameter of 150 mm and height is 300 mm and weighing machine and tools for containing for the mixing and the tamping rod let us discuss about the procedure to find out the tensile strength of the concrete mass First of all, you have to prepare the concrete mix as per your requirement like M20, M25, M30, M35. It's depending on your elements of your existing site and you have to finalize the proportion of the ingredients like cement mass, fine aggregates, coarse aggregates and the water mass and you have to weighing and proper batching should be done and you should mix in the proper manner by the hand mixing or machine mixing you require at least two to three minutes for the mixing of the concrete mass for the proper mixing and then you require the cylindrical mold which dimension is 150 mm diameter and 300 mm height then you have to oil the internal surface and then you have to fill the concrete mass at interval and you have to compact in, in the proper manner and you have to compact with the damping rod of dimension 16 mm diameter and 60 centimeter height at least 30 number of blows and then you have to allow for the 24 hours for the stiffing of the concrete mass and then you have to remove the mold and your concrete specimen is ready for the curing of water and then you have to put your specimen in the curing tank for hardening process and then after the 7 days and the 28 days put it out and you have to put in the compression machine 
and test procedure will be carried out. So, we will discuss with this picture. You have to put your specimen in the horizontal direction and you can see the arrangement The arrangement is done like this. Of the loading was introduced in the Brazil in 1943, and so this test is also known as a Brazilian test. And this test was also developed independently in the Japan. You can see the platens is provided in this manner, and loading is applying with compression machine. And you can see the indirectly tension load is applied to this specimen and in the form of the splitting of the specimen. So you can see in this section the one sixth of the diameter of the area is applied the compressive stress at the both end and the remaining portion of the diameter is applied by the tension stress so after the gradually increasing loading the specimen will fail with the vertical crack you can see on the photo with the vertical crack and splitting of the specimen and you have to note down the failure load of the specimen and after the note the maximum load at which the specimen split off with the loading and you can calculate the tensile strength of the concrete mass. Let us discuss about the calculation to find the tensile strength of the concrete mass. Here you can see on the screen this is the observation table you will use to find out the tensile strength of the concrete mass. Here you have to write down the age of the testing specimen for 7 days or 28 days and then you have to write down the weight of the specimen. Then you have to write down the load at which the specimen fails and then length will be 300 mm and the diameter will be 150 mm and the tensile strength you will get with the equation. 2p by pi lt. What is p? p means the load at which specimen fails and l means the length of the specimen and the d means the diameter of the specimen. Then you can calculate the tensile strength for the particular specimen. Now you have calculated three specimen for the particular days. For example, you are finding seven days or for you are finding 28 days you have to calculate the tensile strength for the three specimen and then you have to calculate the average tensile strength of the specimen. So by this method you can easily calculate the tensile strength of the concrete mass. As we know the split tensile test we are using for finding the tensile strength of the concrete mass. With this test, we can get the accurate result of the tensile strength of the concrete mass comparatively to the other test like modulus of rupture test. And we know that we also calculate with this specimen of the cylindrical with diameter is 150 mm and height is 300 mm. And we also calculate the compressive strength of the concrete mass. So, this test specimen will give you the accurate tensile strength of the concrete mass and you can also find the compressive strength of the concrete mass. Let us discuss about the strength comparison of cube and cylinder. I am talking about the compressive strength comparison between cube and cylinder. We are taking the standard cube set 
150 mm by 150 mm by 150 mm. This size will be considered as a standard size of the cube for the standard strength. Next, you can also use 100 mm by 100 mm by 100 mm cube for the aggregate which size is less than 20 mm. And you can also use this type of the specimen cube but the strength will be 10 percentage more compared to the standard strength. So find out the standard strength you have to multiply 0 0.90. So you have to decrease the 10 percentage for the standard strength with the cube of 100 mm by 100 mm by 100 mm. And if you are using the cylindrical specimen for finding the compressive strength, it means you are finding the compressive strength with using of the 150 mm diameter and 300 mm height, you have to 0 0.8. It means you have to decrease the 20 percentage for finding the standard strength of the concrete cube. What is the standard size for the standard strength? 150 mm by 150 mm by 150 mm. So this is all about the compressive strength of the comparison of cube and cylinder. So in this session, we discuss about the how to define the tensile strength with using of the split tensile test. And in the next session, we also find the tensile strength of the concrete, but the different test method. We will discuss about the modulus of rupture with arrangement of the stair specimen and we will discuss the how to define the strength of the concrete particular tensile strength of the concrete with modulus of the rupture test. Thank you.